Since Doc Martens do not come in half sizes, it can be very difficult to know exactly what your size is, especially if it's your first time buying some Doc Martens. In this video, I'm just gonna go through some things that can help you find your perfect size. Also, if you like Doc Martens, please feel free to like the video and also consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot and it can help other people in your situation too. So let's get into it. The easiest way to find your perfect size when it comes to Doc Martens is simply going either to a Doc Martens store or a store that sells Doc Martens. Once you get there, you can try out hopefully a lot of different types of Doc Martens. You can figure out what size works for you, which one you're comfortable with. And then also if it has different options, you can try different leathers and see which one works for you. And you can buy it there or you can buy it online. It makes it very easy, no hassle. You just go try it on if they have it. Awesome, if they don't, you can try a size bigger, size lower, walk around in it. No penalty, no foul. It's very simple. But what if you don't have that option? Now what? So here's a couple unconventional ways that you can find your Doc Martin size. The first one is simply measuring your feet. I don't know about you, but in some stores that I've been into, there's this device that they have where you can place your feet on there and you can find out exactly what your size is. So we're going to use that concept to measure our feet at home. So what you're going to do is you can use my method or you can just Google a couple ways. There's different ways to measure your feet. But for me, the simplest way that I found is to put the back of your heel towards the edge of a wall or at the edge of the wall. And then you measure out all the way to your biggest toe, not your big toe, but your longest feet, like wherever your feet portrays out. If you understand, you measure out all the way out there, you make a mark. And then after you're done, use a ruler or use a tape measure to see how long that is. Once you get that measurement, you can go on the Doc Martens website and compare to see where your feet is at. Always round up. So once you round up, you should be good and you can find out, OK, this is where my feet is. This is the size I need to buy. Another thing that you can do is if you have wide feet and how do you know you have wide feet? You just know from the other shoes you wear, from people telling you or anything like that. If you have wide feet, please, 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 please go get a size bigger. Why a size bigger? It's going to help you out, especially when it comes to breaking into your Doc Martens. Breaking into your Doc Martens is a whole nother thing. And you don't want to hate the process that you hate your Doc Martens. So I really advise you, if you have wider feet, go a size up. It makes it easier on you. And you won't complain as much. The last other way that I'll say to get the perfect size for Doc Martens, if you have a friend, family, or anyone that you know that wears Doc Martens and it's around your same size, what you can do, ask them if you can try it on. Literally, once you try it on, you can see if it's too big, too small, then you can make a decision from that. But also remember this, depending on how long they've had the Doc Martens, Sometimes they've already stretched it to a point where it fits their feet very nicely. So that can skew the results, but it will give you somewhat of a baseline where you can go from there and decide, oh, this one is too tight or it's too big. I should go a size up or a size down. So hopefully I helped you out. If you have any questions, please, please, please comment down below. I'll answer it or someone else will. So thanks for watching. If I helped you out, give me a like, consider joining and uh, peace out.